Mark, it's the first time we spoke since Bournemouth victory. First of all, how do you reflect on that? Yeah, it's a really positive performance from us. Um, you know, it's one that we, we need to use as a springboard. It's one that we can use to remind ourselves that, you know, we are, we are a good side. Um, you know, it, it was a complete performance and it needs to be against a side like Boreham Wood. Um, you know, there was some real strong defensive resilience and some real attacking intent there as well. So, um, like I said, we had to strike that balance right. Um, we've got to get that right going forward. Um, but no, I was really, really pleased with the boys and um, it's that shot of confidence we needed. And, and that, that's what we've been missing is that football's a game of emotion and you're, you're searching for that, that good feeling and it, it's deserted us for too long. And um, sometimes you become more desperate, more tense, the pressure adds. And it's, it is important that we just, you know, stop, stop the rot and um, find, find our feet again, find that good feeling in a game. And we managed to do that. But all it is is one game, um, and we've just got to use that as our catalyst now to, to, to kick on and, and get more points on board. You touched on that, of course. Obviously, we were on that poor run, but now we've got that Bournemouth victory. How important is it as we approach the final few games to continue that good form in the next few games? Yeah, it's absolutely vital. And um, like I said, it is a, a real big reminder for the, for the group who've had a real hard time at the moment. Um, all of us have. You know, it's been a, a tough time. And I've said all the way along it, you know, tough times are the times that make you and um, we've got we've got to use those, those tough times to spur us on we don't want to be back in that place again so we've got to fight for everything now we've got to continue to do that and um, like I said get that balance right of that defensive resilience hard to beat but also that attacking intent and I think we certainly showed that on Saturday. Of course another bit of positive news is that the new striker Sinclair has finally been announced but of course there's you know, we're waiting on QPR, as you mentioned, with the medical clearance. What's the latest on him? Yeah, we're still we're still waiting on, on QPR. It's no secret now that, that we've signed him. It's um, he, he suffered a concussion away in a European qualifier for Ireland. Um, with him being young, um, you need to be very careful with him situations. So, um, you know, we're hoping to see him as soon as we can. But um, that one's out of our control and, and that, you know, his safety will always come, come first. But... You know, hopefully he'll, he'll pick up his training at, at QPR and they'll be assessing him as, as we go along. But I suppose as positive as is signing him, you know, the players that have come in, you know, can hopefully do a job as they did on Saturday as well. Yeah, absolutely. And that's full focus on the players available for the next game, as it always is. And, and like I said, those, those boys have done well and, and got the shirt on their back now. And it's, it's up to them to, to carry on and, and, and do what they want with it, really. It's, uh, you know, they've got the shirt. It's up to, the, up to them what they do with it now. So, um, you know, that challenge is always there. Um, we, we have got some competition. We have got a lot of injuries as well. Um, but that, that's what made that performance even, even the better. I mean, the lead up to that game was, uh, you know, with what happened previous, on the previous week and uh, the other injuries and the other things that goes on behind the scenes that no one sees just shows what a big performance that was Saturday. It was a real, you know, amongst all the adversity, we really you know, come out strong and fighting and, and I was so pleased to see the character in the group from that. Let's touch on the injuries quickly. Obviously, we had Ethan injured. Mitch has obviously announced he's out for the rest of the season. You know, we had Kev Locko out with injury. I think Corey had to drop out at the last minute. What's the latest on the injury front? Yeah, we obviously lost Ryan Glover the night before as well through illness. So, you know, fortunately, Ryan's been training now uh, this week. So that's good. Corey Jordan, we're hoping to see train at the end of the week. Kevin Locko is continuing to be assessed with um, you know, a minor ankle injury, so we're hoping that's more definitely short-term. It's just when we will see him. Um, we've got to be careful because he hasn't really got that backlog of games behind him, so we need to be extra cautious with that. Um, Ethan is due to train today uh, at, his, at his club, Stockport, so you know that'll be a... Uh, if he comes through that today, we're, we're just awaiting how, how he's got on today. If he comes through that, then that's a, a big sigh of relief for us. And, uh, you know, he, he'll be joining us. Uh, forgotten where we are now, Henry. Who else is along there? Yeah, um, and Mitch, I'm absolutely gutted for. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's such a great character around the place. Um, you know, a great goalkeeper. And, you know, his opportunity come again. And unfortunately, injury has, has scuppered that. And, uh, you know, we'll be doing everything we can to look after him and make sure um, he, get, he comes back bigger and stronger. Because you know, I know the character of him, he, he certainly will do that. But, yeah, re but, you know, real sad news for, for us on, on Mitch's situation. You touched on opportunity there. Obviously, it was a really young squad that played on Saturday. I think of Ryan, obviously Alfie Saunders, Tommy Willard, to name a few. You know, that must be even more positive given that it's a young squad and they can go out there and put in a performance as they did. Yeah, and it's look, they're full of potential and, uh, 
you know, we're the youngest, you know, I don't, we haven't had a game of football yet. We were always, without being the youngest team out there, you know, that is the makeup of our group um, with some of the situation with some of the injuries. We've always been a youthful, youthful group. And with, with youngsters, sometimes, you know, you've seen the feast and the famine moments where, you know, with a bit of confidence and, uh, you know, and the shackles off, then, you know, they can really excel. And um, But what they are developing is they're developing a lot of character, a lot of great experiences at the moment. So as we, you know, hopefully as we go along, we, we get stronger and better. But sometimes then to get to them moments, you've got to go through your tough times. And we, we all went through them together. And it's just important that we, we get out of it and learn learn the lessons and we'll be stronger, better for it. Just a final note on Owen, you're on our next opponent's Yeovil. Of course, they drew a tour with Kings Lynn last weekend. But, you know, as we approach the final few games of the season, anything can happen. We hope we can do the best we can with the results we've got. Yeah, look, we've got to focus on ourselves. We've got to make sure that we, you know, we bring our, our best game and, like I said, get that balance right of that defensive resilience and that good attacking um, intent as well. So we've got, we've got to make sure we get that balance right. But, you know, the, the challenges always come big. You know, there's a lot of football to be played in a short space of time. Um, you know, Yeovil, I've been impressed with them every time I've seen them. They are a really strong side. They work so hard. Um, so it's going to be another real difficult test travelling there on Good Friday. Um, so, you know, and, then, and then we've obviously got the game so close on the Monday. So it's a, a busy weekend. We've got to be as professional as we can. Uh, we've got to make sure we prepare the best we can. We've got to try and get the, the right balance of getting the energy on the pitch and the freshness on the pitch, but also trying to get some continuity into the team as well, which has been so difficult for us this season. Um, so, yep, yeah, there's uh, plenty to look forward to and be excited by, but we've got to make sure that we um, put our feet back on the ground now, remember what worked well for us on Saturday, remember that, that mentality, that attitude, that togetherness, um, you know, it's got to be at the front. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.